Well, I mean, every artist knows about the turbine hall. It wasn't something that I'd ever imagined doing. So when they asked me, I, I looked over from the bridge and I, I immediately thought I wanted to make a portrait format film. So I had that initial moment. And then after that, I had to work out what I was going to do. I used masking inside the aperture gate, so it's, it's, there's no digital post-production in this film at all. It's all made in the old way. I'd film, for example, the triangle, and then I'd rewind the film inside the camera, and then I would film the background, which for the triangle takes two times, and the sprockets takes another two times. So the very minimum, or every single shot has gone through three times, but some of them went through 12 times. Every single one of the squares of the turbine hall had its own mask. So, for example, that was a, the double window mask, and you'd basically film the background, the turbine hall, and you'd rewind, and then you'd go outside of the studio and film the fountain. And you wouldn't know what you were going to get until it was exposed. Each part is done through masking. So you do the left corner, it's eight colors, rewind, the film in the camera, block off that corner and do the middle bit, rewind, and that's why you're getting all those flashes because they are filter flashes because when a camera stops and starts, it, you know, there's always a flash frame. So this was the Mondrian mark. The back wall, the east wall of the turbine hall is very grid-like and has a very strong identity and I suddenly thought, my God, it had a quality of a Mondrian. So each one of those three colours of the Mondrian were done with different, you know, so I do one colour, rewind, then you do the other colour, rewind. I mean, it was a hell of a process. It was such a labour of love. But I knew with this project, it had to be spectacular. It had to be easily understood in a way and short. It's quite a good addition to it.